You all see that? The Waking Up Ojibwe presentation? Yeah. I like that I can see faces and some people are giving me thumbs up, being interactive. I like it. <clears throat> all righty. So we'll just get going here. Um, Uju Gakanawia, Mushkane Wasikek, Indigo, um, Darcy Jones, and Dishnikaz Janganashimang, Guching Nindonji, Fort Francis and Da Nungam, Mong Nindodam, Nijiwag Ningosasag, Jesse Minawa Martin, Janikazawag Ningosasag, um, Gawije, Odamanoad, Abanujia, uh, Jeranishna Bemo Nid, and Dono Kiwin. So when I first started learning, um, when I first started learning Ojibwe, that's the first thing that I got taught to do was always start with my introduction. <laughs> and I just said that. My spirit name is Mushkane Wasikik, which was gifted to me by uh, Sandra Indian a few years ago. Um, my English name is Darcy Jones. Loon is my clan. I'm from Kuching. I reside in Fort Francis. Um, I have two sons named Martin and Jesse. They're seven and nine years old. Um, and I work at Seven Gens in the Waking Up Ojibwe Anishinaabe Moda Initiative Program. And I don't have an English translation to my title. My title is literally Ga Wije Odama Noad Abinujia Je Anishinaabe Monid. We just changed it recently, so I'm still trying to get used to it. But what my title means is that um, I'm the one who plays with children for them to learn the language. So I work with our partnered centers, uh, daycare centers in the Rainy River District. I travel there and try to bring as much language into the centers as possible, whether that's with the children or the teachers. Um, I also work a little bit with parent engagement. Um, I help make uh, language kits, um, games and songs and that's where we are today is about is we're going to learn about creating Anishinaabe Moan songs for children um and my journey here really started with songs um I worked at Head Start Aboriginal Head Start a long time ago and I didn't grow up with the language whatsoever I am a very new learner, probably within the last two, three years now. Um, and when I, I went to school at Seven Gens, um, big props to Seven Gens, they've really taken me to where I am today. But I was in the Aboriginal Teachers Education Program through Queen's University. And it was all about taking um, the Ontario curriculum and making lesson plans that are culturally appropriate and um, really using the language as much as possible. Uh, so that's where my education stems from. So when I worked at Head Start, I was such a, I knew no Ojibwe Moen. I, you know, maybe could count to five. I don't even think I knew colors. I didn't know anything. I really learned along with those, um, a little head start, those little three and four year olds. So it was definitely humble beginnings. And it's funny that I started learning very humbly like that because now that I am continuing to learn, taking more advanced uh, lessons and language tables and stuff like that, I continue, I am continually humbled constantly. I'll just tell you a a little funny story. So we were in a meeting and my job is amazing and I get to meet some amazing people. 
um, and Pat Ningguans. She is a language learner and teacher and an amazing person. She's uh, written a whole bunch of books that you guys probably know, but I was invited to a meeting with her and some other like first speakers, some actual like speakers and they were speaking and I was so proud of myself. I thought I was like, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm understanding what they're saying. Not, not completely, but I was getting the gist of what they were saying and I was just proud of myself, hey? And uh, I'm just kind of like in the corner on Zoom, just kind of listening in. And then uh, Pat asked a question to me and I thought she said, are you understanding? And I was like, oh, here's my chance to show off. So I was like, funky it to go, like a little bit, like I'm understanding. But what she actually asked me is, do you like listening to us? I was like, oh, just a little bit. I just like listening to all these fluent, amazing elders, just a little bit. And I was like, I'm continually humbled (laughs) by this language and I love it. And I just love where it's brought me in, in my life. So that's a little bit about me. Um, And since you're all here, you probably know a little bit about uh, Waking Up Ojibwe or Anishinaabe Moda, and I'll link our website later. Hopefully you all have had a chance to look at it. Um, Let's see. Okay, so um, I wanted to include as much songs as possible in the language throughout this. So before we start learning how to create songs, one of my teachings from uh, one of my teachers, Paybom Benes, um, always said we start with, you know, we should always start every lesson, um, every meeting in a good way. Um, so I'm going to sing uh, a Sema Nagamal, which is a song that he shared with us. Um, and usually when we're in person, someone would take, you know, the a Sema, the tobacco, and pass it out um, to start something in a good way. But we can't do that. We're on Zoom. So the song, <clears throat> I believe, was given to Paybom, and then he's been sharing it all around. I've had quite a bit of time to practice with it over the past couple years since we've been learning about Ojibwe. I'm also going to get a smudge ready and um, if you have a smudge you can do that as well but if not you can just uh, take my virtual smudge and we can do that together. So just give me a second while I get that going. Um, I hate to put you on the spot Benesi gets Dockway but do you want to help me sing? Gawi, yeah. Gawi nungum. Gawi nungum. Okay. But I asked what would take you to cook already, so that's okay. I just thought I don't know if there's anybody else here. I think I asked Whitney if she was coming, and she said Gawi. She's in class today, so it might be just me and what would take you to cook. That's okay. Sorry, y'all. Go back here. So yeah, we did um, a class called Daga Anishinaabe Moda, and that's where I kind of started um, really getting closer to the language. It was during COVID, and uh, Wawate Gishiguk, Shannon uh, King, asked me if I wanted to do a class, and the class was... um, the class was Monday to Friday for an hour and a half, about an hour of immersion. And uh, we could only speak the language for an hour every single time. And it was probably the hardest, scariest thing I have ever done. Um, and But it really made me learn the language in such a different way. Um, And we would sing this song at the beginning of every class. And then I've done maybe three classes with Paybomb, three introductory 
two um, second level ones. And then I've done some other classes along, along with him, done some ceremonies, which has been really great. Okay. I've been wanting to smudge all morning. I was like, no, I'm gonna smudge in here today, but I really needed it. <laughs> we'll let that go. And I will start if Shannon wants to do the second. We'll just switch back and forth as per usual. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the tune. Okay, I think I got it. I have to hear it in my head. Alrighty. Way I Yahweh. Am I singing? I'm thinking. Am I singing it right there, Shannon? Do I have the right tune? Yeah, hey. Okay. I was just listening to the Nibe water song too. So now I've got lots of songs in my head. Okay. Uh, I've lost it again. Shannon, can you start? Oh, smoky. Language. Baba Teki Shukuk, I can't hear you. I don't know if you've been singing. I don't think any of us can. <laughs> no one, no, going. Boujou, boujou. Oh, there you are. Oh, I really gave her too. It was beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll do it again. <laughs> Way high way, Yahweh, way high way, way high way, Yahweh, way high way, way high way, Yahweh, way high way, way high way. Way high way, being again, wabano we sema, being again, jawano ga we sema, being again, ogima we mede we sema, way high way. Way highway, yeah we are highway, highway, oh. Way highway, yeah we are highway, highway, oh. Way highway, yeah we are highway, highway, oh. Yeah highway, been there again. Wabano we a same up. Been digging. Shawano go we a same up. Been digging. Ogima we 
Matei way a say ma way hi way way hi way ya we are ya i way hi way oh way hi way ya we are ya i way hi way oh way hi way ya we are ya i way hi way oh Way high way, being the again, wobbling away a same ma, being the again, jawing on go away a same ma, being the again, oggy ma way, midday way a same ma, way high way, way high way. Yeah, we are, yeah, we are, Bin de gay, shower no go away, say ma. Bin de gay, oggy ma way, my day way, say ma. Way high way. Nikagina. Miigwech. Miigwech. Wow, it hey, gives you go. And thank you for taking the lead for that. Um. So now that we've opened up in a good way, I'm going to share my screen again. Go back and present thing. Okay. So now that we've opened up in a good way, I have a video and I work with mainly kids zero to six. I'm not sure what everyone else does, but I'm sure we either have someone in our family um, or we work with someone who's age zero to six. And I am a language nerd now. So I'm always, always looking out for videos, looking out for um, any information that will help me in my journey, in my job, in my life. So. We all know the TED Talks, and this is about how babies and how, why it's so important for children at a young age to learn a second language and why it's um, so easy for them to learn a second language. Um, one of my sons is starting, well, they're both learning um, Anishinaabe Moen, but my nine-year-old really, really loves it. He never went to Head Start or anything like that, so he's in grade four and just starting to learn it with Shirley Andy at JW Walker. And he loves language, um, learns it very easily, but he was like, mom, uh, Mrs. Andy says that it's good for babies to learn uh, a second language. Why didn't you teach me? <laughs> like, I, well, how could I teach you? I couldn't teach you if I didn't even know the language. He was like, well, you should have mom. Like you should, like totally guilty me. I'm like, I, yes, I realize I should have. But we all have to start somewhere, right? So I, oh, so here is, I thought this video was really, really cool. Can you guys hear it? I can't hear it either. No, hey. Let's see. Mm -mm. Let's see if I can watch on YouTube. You guys should still be able to see, see my screen now, hey? Yeah, we can see it. We can't hear it. I have to. Share sound. There we go. Maybe? Still nothing, hey? Share sound, yes. Share screen, yes.
Same as this one. We might have to skip this, guys. Yeah. I'm going to share with you guys, and maybe you can take that and watch it later. But what the video is, and I'm just improvising because I haven't watched it for about a week now, um, is that these little babies, when they learn different languages, they take in these statistics. So they can tell when people's voices change in different language, whether it's English or Japanese or Anishinaabe Moan, that these little babies are taking it in and they're understanding different dialects and they are taking it all in. Um, and it is making those connections in babies' brains that all babies make. But when you they learn, they hear a second language, um, the connections are being made faster and they're literally being routed for language learning their whole, the rest of their lives. So even if they learn a second language from the ages, you know, six months to four years, and then they never hear another language um, later on in their lives, they are more susceptible, I guess. They can take in different languages easier because those brains and those wires and those connections have already been made and they're there forever. Um, I think of um, Mr. Jones, Mr. Mike Jones. He taught grades four to eight Anishinaabe Moen at Robert Moore here in Port Francis. And he said he can tell what little kids have went to Head Start in years past because they just pick things up and they pick up the language just a little bit faster. Not saying that those kids who come in grade four are more behind, but he can just tell the ones at the very beginning who have been exposed to that language either at home or in a set a different class setting. So that's why I think my I love my job because I know I know that there's the outcomes afterwards. So if I go into daycares and I'm the only person who speaks to them in Anishinaabe Moen, hopefully later on in life it makes it a little bit easier for them to learn any language and not just Ojibwe. Um, I loved learning French as a kid and I can still speak and read a little bit of it. And I really do think learning that I, I think I first started getting taught French in grade one, maybe even kindergarten. And I really do think it helps, um, it helped my language learning process and my language learning journey to learn a language that maybe I don't use very much anymore, but those connections and those hard wirings are still there in order to learn the language. So we'll go back here. So that didn't work. Super cool. I thought I had it all set up for you guys. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual uh, creating song. So this is going to be our day, our uh, morning. Nagamo da, let's all sing. So I'm going to start off with a song about Doug Wagen, which is fall, and it's kind of the song, which um, I don't, uh, Shannon's not at her, <laughs> doesn't have her screen on anymore, but I really think it's why I got the job I did, um, and I'll explain a little bit uh, more about that later. And then we're going to go through some TPR, which is total physical response, um, a hand washing song that I've been working on. Um, and hopefully you guys can help me finish the song because it's only half done. It's not completely done yet. Then we're going to go into small breakout rooms and um, maybe work on some songs that you guys have been wanting or needing. Um, and I'll show you all about how to get there. And then I'm going to show you some of our Waking Up Ojibwe language resources that hopefully can help you in your jobs as well. Okay, so De Guagin. So I was working after Head Start, I moved on to the Community Action Program for Children at UNFC, which is a zero to six, um, zero to six family center job. So it's helping families with zero to six, um, parents included parental um, engagement, um, that kind of stuff. So during COVID, right, everybody had to get very, very um, creative, right? Every, I'm sure everybody's like, yes, COVID, that was fun times. Um, but we were working from home. 
So I was like, how can I get the language and the culture out there while I am sitting at home? So I was thinking, and this was about fall time, I was like, I want to make maybe a song or a video or something along those lines. So I really had to push myself because I didn't know much language at this time. Um, and I wanted to make a song about fall. So this is how it all started. I just sat down and I brainstormed a whole bunch of words. I was like, what do I know about fall? And I just wrote down a big giant list. So fall, there's apples, leaves, breaking the leaves. This is literally what I did. Just like the most random stuff ever. Falling leaves, lots about leaves. Thanksgiving. In our quick eases, the months, yellow, red, and orange, lots of colors around, cooler weather, hunting, hunting's big in our house. Um, I think that's it anymore. Oh, yeah, school starting and jackets, boots, and hats. So I literally wrote down as much uh, de guagin or fall words that I could think of and I was like maybe I'll use them maybe I won't but here here's a starting point and I went through and I was like okay I kind of know like yellow red and orange misqua ozawa um let me see apples I knew that word I knew leaves um dakaya it's cooler out for weather and I also used the English or the Ojibwe dictionary which is super helpful. So I wrote all these down, wrote them down in Ojibwe. And I was like, what do I wanna make a song about? Um, and when I wrote this song, or I'll tell you that after, I guess. So we went to the next one and I was like, how? I was like, I am not the most creative person. I actually think I am tone deaf and people laugh at that, but like, I actually think I'm tone deaf. I don't, I swear I don't hear properly, but that's another story for another time. So what I did, was I went on to YouTube and I'll show you right now. I went on to YouTube and I put in, now I use this all the time. Nursery rhyme, karaoke is the best way I find to make songs. And this is, this is the process that I use to make a whole bunch of songs all the time um, in Anishinaabe Moen. So, I don't know, my sound's not working today. This might be a problem, but we'll see. It must be a new feature on Zoom because while I was trying to play your video, I was going to share it for you, and mine wouldn't work either. I've never really. Yeah. Strange. Okay. So, Nursery Ram Karaoke is um, the best way to try and figure out how your songs work. I also would put popular kid songs, karaoke. The karaoke is just the best way to, I wish they worked, is to take these words that we were working on um, in the language and see where they fit. And the very first one, the De Guagin, uh song, Yeah, so there's a whole bunch and we, I don't know, as like maybe English speakers or people with kids, you don't really think about it, but there is a lot of songs, Baba Black Sheep, I'm a Little Teapot, and these all have karaoke versions, I've looked them all up, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Pop Goes the Weasel, London Bridge is Falling Down, and some of them are the same and you don't really think about it, so Baba Black Sheep, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and the ABC song are all the same tunes. Same with London Bridge is Falling Down and Head and Shoulders. That's the same tune. Um, let's see what else songs. I had a big list of them. But yeah, these are all songs that you can find karaoke versions. Um, I use Frere Jaca for the De Guagin for two reasons. Frere Jaca is very short, um, very simple. And it also repeats. So if you think about it, Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, Dormez-vous. I only know it in French. I don't know 
I don't know what the English one of that is. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. And it's the same words over and over. And I thought for little kids, for beginner speakers, that's the best way to go is that repetition uh, for myself as well trying to sing a song on uh, Facebook Live at this point in my career. I was like, let's keep it simple. So yes, number step three, start simple, pick a theme. So I was like, I know leaves, I know colors. Colors are always good. Counting is always good for kids zero to six. I try to throw as much counting and numbers and colors in there as possible, depending on which age group you're working with. Um, and yes, the Frere Jacques repetition. So I'm gonna take you through how I did it. So when I, I knew that a leaf, one leaf was Annie Beach. Um, oh yeah, there's Brother John. See, I don't know, why don't I know the English one? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. There we go. There's. There's the words for it. So you can see the repetition there. Um, so I started with Annie Beach. I knew it was a leaf. And if you don't know words, and I'm sure most of you have used it as well, is the Ojibwe People's Dictionary. Very easy to use, go into English. So there it is. So I know that uh, leaf was Annie Beach. Um, but we're talking about lots of leaves. We're not going to be talking about just one leaf. So if we wanted to make it plural, we go down here, find this little PL, and it says plural there, Annie Bichon. And you can even hear it. Well, we can't hear it because of Zoom, but you could even hear it being said by a fluent speaker if you really are a complete newbie at the language, which is okay, everyone has to start somewhere. So I was gonna start with Annie Beach or Annie Bichon. Annie Bichon. So that was the first um, lyrics in my song. Annie Bichon, Annie Bichon. So what I thought about it next, and we if we go back to my big list of words, falling leaves. When I think of fall, I always think of the leaves falling from the trees. So I was like, okay, I want it to fall. I want these leaves to fall. I also knew I wanted to have actions eventually. And I thought that was the best way to, even, to use the leaves in an action um, stance. So next part was we look here and Annie Beach. And if you hover, just hover over this uh, NI here, it says inanimate. So that means it's not alive. We know that leaves are alive, but for um, using it as a verb or in a verb doing something to the leaf, it is inanimate. So just remember that in your head right now, leaf, inanimate. So now if we want to, want to take the leaf and we want to make it falling down. So I'm gonna put fall in the English dictionary. So season, new, no, we want an action. We want a verb right here. So fall, move down onto something. We want the leaves to fall down onto the ground. So if we look here, there's two different ones. Is one is an inanimate. You don't have to worry too much about the intransitive right now, but it's inanimate. And this one's animate. So we know the leaf is inanimate. So it's she or he is not going to fall down. It is going to fall down. So it's right here. Bungusin. So if we go here, and really this Ojibwe People's Dictionary is the most helpful ever. If we go down here, and you might have to get used to it a little bit, but right here, it says plural inanimate. We have leaves or many leaves. It is plural. It is inanimate. Bungus noon. That was my second line of it. it was Annie Bishan, Annie Bishan, Bungus and Noon, Bungus and Noon. So that was my next one. Um, I wish we could hear sound, but in the Frere Jaca karaoke, you can hear it speed up a little bit. So these next, um, the next words are going to have to be pretty fast. So this is where it goes, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. So it's a little bit, has a little bit more words to it, a little bit more syllables in it. 
So again, like I said, either counting or colors is really good. So I was like, I'm going to use colors. Um, thankfully, yellow and orange are the same one, Ozawa. Red is Misqua. So that was my next word. Next uh, lyrics was Misqua Minawa Ozawa. Misqua Minawa Ozawa, which is good because it has enough syllables to fill it up. And then since it's a song about fall, I wanted to end with Da Gua Gin. It is fall. So that was the whole, that was me coming up. And like, I just explained it to you in about 10 minutes. This took me like three days. This was like a very, very slow process at first of trying to figure out how to take these Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe words um, that have a lot of syllables and fit them into English sounding songs. Um, so that was the final result. And I went on Facebook Live and took my, I made some leaves, oh, took some leaves, printed out some leaves and um, did the song on Facebook Live. I also sent home um, different <clears throat> leaf activities with families. So hopefully the families would sing this song <laughs> sorry, would sing this song at the same time, getting that language in there. So, Annie, B, Sean. And the fun thing about Zoom is you guys can sing along with me right now and no one can hear you because you're all muted. So try to sing along with me. Ready? Annie, B, Sean, Annie, B, Sean, Bungus and Noon, Bungus and Noon. Misqua mina wazawa, misqua mina wazawa, da gua gin, da gua gin. So that was my very first song. Um, I was taking part in the Daga Anishinaabe Moda, the class with Pei Bomb, and Wawate Kishuguk was in there, and I needed just some help. I wanted to show my teacher, Pei Bomb, what I had been working on. I think he's the one who suggested Bungus Noon instead of just Bungusin. Um, so I needed his help a little bit at the time. And um, I really think, <laughs> I really think this is where um, Shannon was probably like, hey, this girl might be good in my program, potentially. And this was months and months beforehand. But uh, I really started taking the language and putting it even more into my job with families. And that's what I really, really like to do as much as possible. And I still do to this day. Um, I believe that using the language um, and people learning the language is, you know, super important for identity, self-representation in classrooms and all over the world. Um, and I'm just now that it's my job, I'm very passionate about it. I've always been passionate about it, but now I get to use, use my powers for even better. So the next one I'm gonna present again. It's total physical response, which is TPR. And you all know what TPR is, um, whether you, or not you've heard of TPR. So it's an approach to teaching a language by using physical movement to react to verbal input. So matching action to your words. It mimics the way infants learn to use their first language. So if you think about it, like, you know, parents feeding their kids, like, open your mouth, and they're like, ah, like, feed me. But they're hearing the words, open your mouth at the same time as they're opening their mouth. And lift up your bum when you're changing their diapers. You don't realize how much your verbs and their actions are matching up while those babies are making their connections in their brains. Um, yeah, TPR creates connections between speech and action to boost language learning. So yes, we could, um, you know, you could simply say, this is your mouth, which is great pointing out different body parts. But if you put it to a song or open your mouth, it just makes that much more connections in the baby's brain. And TPR, TPR is helpful to all learners, not just children. Um, so we're going to practice this and we're going to put it into motion right now. Um, and I'm going to need your guys' help, whether or not you want to. So this is a song that we do <laughs> in our class, which is um, uh, if you're happy and, you're, and you know it. And we've all done this song as a kid. We've all done this song with um, our 
you know, our classes or wherever. And it's TPR. It's all about TPR. So BIMO seg, like walk, you're going to do the action of walking. You all jump. We're going to pretend to jump, dance, me mig, all this kind of stuff. So we're going to put it all together. So hopefully you guys will help me out and take a little verse and I'll go first. The words are not that difficult. Geesh bin, min waned meg, buzzig wig. And we're going to stand up and I'll even try to do it with you. Buzzig wig. And it's going to go. Geesh bin, min waned meg, buzzig wig, buzzig wig. Geesh bin, min, min waned meg, buzzig wig, buzzig wig. Poor Darcy. <laughs> I think she lost connection. Oh no. <laughs> you want a messenger? Yes. Yeah. Who's you? <laughs> Who's you? Oh, technology doesn't like me to say. I apologize, everyone. Oh, uh, no worries. Hopefully, this works again okay here we are i apologize i didn't know it was going to be one of these days so here is um i put a link to paybomb soundcloud so if you ever want to do this song yourself or practice or do it with your class it's there as an example um but we are going to we're going to do this song is that um, do I have any volunteers to do BIMO SIG? Neen. Shannon. Um, Gwashkwanik. Anyone want to jump? I will. You will? Miigwech, Dana. Nimig. Anyone want to dance? Neen. Ooh, Kate, Miigwech. Um, Namat Big, all sit. Does anyone want to sit? Anyone? Shelly, I think I could, should find that pretty easy. Awesome. Sounds good. That one's a good one. Uh, we snig. Anyone want to pretend to eat? We snig. Someone's got to be able to. You I will? will. Yep. Awesome. Me quick. Um, minute quick. Anyone want to drink? You don't even have to turn on your camera. You can just sing. I'll keep it going till she comes back. <laughs> 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 Mini Quig, who <laughs> wants to drink? Mm. Mackenzie. <laughs> Give me an Okay, I have to be honest. I wasn't listening. I was on the phone. And I knew you were going to call my name <laughs> just because I was on the phone. So I don't um, even really know what's going on. <laughs> No worries. Sorry. That's okay. Um, when Darcy comes back, we're... come back to me. <laughs> you bet. Yeah. I'll call on somebody else. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to take turns uh, singing. Okay, Brenda, no worries. I'll, uh, I won't call on you. We're going to take Gish Pin Min Wei Deman, which is a, an action song. So if you're happy and you know it. Um, so we're looking for a volunteer to sing Miniquig. Uh, and then <clears throat> and I think Jane Calder. You wanna help us out? It really is helpful um if you're able to interact and uh, and jump in and i know it's a little hard to sing and not everyone likes to do it but we're all adults we like to be silly i'll 
I'll do Minnequig. There we go. Now, Nabog. Who, who wants to sleep? Neen. Oh, Minkwich, Dana. Darcy, welcome back. <laughs> what a Monday. <laughs> what a Monday, y'all. This is not good. No worries. We're all, we're, we're next, next after, um, Nabog. Okay. I think Nagana Gobwick was looking at the, this next one. I think so too. Anishkog. Nagana Gobwick. Me, Gwetch, McKenna. Oh, I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> and now big. Who's going to look? I'll look. Oh. <laughs> What's going on with her computer? Do not know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think her computer needs to get fixed. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was happening. So what I'm going to do is look up the lyrics. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Someone, do you want to take that one? Yeah. Okay. And then Nagamon. Who's going to sing? <laughs> and I hope that you all remember which one that you, uh, <laughs> you volunteered it, for. Because we won't. <laughs> I don't remember which ones I did. All right, I'll do Nagamon, and then there's Ikido Hoa. Last but not least. The last one. We'll see if Darcy can do that one. Ikido Hoa. We got we got volunteers for everyone, Dars. Me glitch. I'm on my kids' computer now, so I don't know. It just keeps wanting to sleep for some reason. Yeah, me too. No worries. Computer, me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will start it off with the buzzy wig. Geesh bim and Wayne to make buzzy wig. Buzzy wig. Geesh bin min wain to make buzz a quick, buzz a quick. Geesh bin min wain to make, geesh bin min wain to make, geesh bin min wain to make buzz a quick, buzz a quick. I think this is me. Geesh bin min wain to make, bin mo seg. Geesh bin min wain to make, bin mo seg. Each pin and wind to make, each pin and wind to make, each pin and wind to make, but bemo seg. <laughs> okay, this is all new to me on Zoom. Gish pin de min de wig, quash good egg. I guess I gotta do the action. Gish pin de min de wig, oh, gish pin, sorry, gish pin min win de meg. Quash quinig, gish pin jam in the quick, gish pin jam in the quick, gish pin jam in the quick, quash quinig. Oh, gish pin minwen the magnemic, gish pin minwen the magnemic, gish pin minwen the mag, gish pin minwen the mag, gish pin minwen the magnemic, nemic. Gish pin men the way. Nama de big. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Thanks. Gish, gish, bin, min, de, when to make. Nama de big. Gish, bin, min, when to make. Gish, bin, min, when to make. Gish, bin, min, when to make. Nama de big.
Ki spemen wen de meg, we seneg. Ki spemen wen de meg, we seneg. Ki spemen wen de meg, ki spemen wen de meg, ki spemen wen de meg, we seneg. Did I say a drink? Gish pin min wain to make man a quick. Gish pin min wain to make man a quick. Flashbacks. Gish pin min wain to make. Gish pin min wain to make. Gish pin min wain to make man a quick. Gish pin min to wake. Nee bug. Gish pin min to wake. Nee bug. Gish pin min de weg, gish pin min de weg, gish pin min de weg, nee bug. Gish pin min win de weg, on is kaak. Gish pin min win de weg, on is kaak. Gish pin min de weg, gish pin min win de weg, gish pin min de weg, on is kaak. <laughs> oh yeah, this is me. Gish pin min wain de meg nagamog. Gish pin min wain de meg nagamog. Gish pin min wain de meg. Gish pin min wain de meg. Gish pin min wain de meg nagamog. Darcy. Is that everyone? Yeah, we gave you a kadohoa. Mean? Gish pin me rain to make a kadohoa hoa. Gish pin me rain to make a kadohoa hoa. Gish pin me rain to make, gish pin me rain to make, gish pin me rain to make a kadohoa hoa. Me glitch. So I'm on, <laughs> I'm on twice. I want to share my screen, but I don't want to be locked out. So I'm going to stay on here twice in hopes that that doesn't happen anymore. We problem solve around here. Okay. So let's see. I need to see where I am. I cannot. I mean, I can believe that this is happening to me, but I like cannot believe that it's happening to me. Okay. So our next one. Um, can you hear me well? You got a couple of, yeah, okay. Um, so the hand washing song, number one, I brainstormed a whole bunch that I could, hand washing, water, and this is used normally in a classroom. So I was like, you're gonna tell kids to come here, come wash your hands, rub your hands, um, use soap, that kind of stuff. So I wrote down again, a big long list of words that I could think of. Um, and while I was making it, another thing that I kind of noticed was this, uh, and this is our command card here on the side, this Gazi Ninjida. So that's, percent seems like when I present, I get kicked out. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, that gazine and G, that part is actually like the rubbing of your hands. So there's no like rub your hands together. This is literally what it means is to rub your hands together and make your hands clean. Um, Ojibwe is a very uh, descriptive language, right? So gazine and jean, you wash your hands. Gazine and jig, you all wash your hands, talking to everybody, excluding yourself. Gazine and jida, let's all wash our hands 
this is you included. So that's where I kind of got the basis for this song. Um, I used the family finger song and I was going to show you the sound of it, but this is uh, brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. What do you do? I can't, my brain, now that I have all these songs in my head, sometimes I can't remember the English of them anymore. Like the one I was remembering in French. So that's the song I picked for it. Um, I think I might have, I knew that there was going to be that Gazine and Jida, which has lots of syllables in it. Um, so I knew I had to pick a song unlike Frere Jaca, which has fewer syllables. Oh, we lost you. I can't hear you. your sound, Darcy. Can you hear us? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you were really clear for a while. Turn your sound yeah. on on the other computer. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, well, now we can. Oh, there. Can you hear we me? We lost you for a little while. No, really? Yeah, we could see you talking, but then your sound went. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay. So what I was saying was that we're going to work together to make a second verse of this song. Um, and I'm going to sing the first one for you. So it's Gizinanjida Ambeoma Nibaminawa Zibigan. So that's the first verse of it. So let's all wash our hands. Come here water and soap. Very simple, didn't take much. Um, the Gazine and Jida I had on our one of our uh, new command cards that we made. Ambeo Ma, very simple. Nebe Minawa, so water and, I knew that. And I actually had to ask a, I don't know if soap, like the noun soap was on the Ojibwe English dictionary. So I had to ask a friend or a translator and he came up with ZB again. And again, if you are ever stuck on something, always reach out and ask for help. Like I've asked for help from Wawateke Ishikuk and Nigana Gabuik. Lots today already. So always reach out if you're stuck. So if you all can go into the chat and write down some more, um, some more words that we might be able to use in a hand washing song. So I'm going to write down dry your hands. So maybe like a next step. And the next verse is drying your hands. So everybody brainstorm, try to write down a word that goes with the hand washing song. Shake off the water. Yeah. That's a good one. Clean. Lather, scrub, rinse your hands. Yeah. Maybe like all done. Like we're all done washing our hands. Anything else? Can anyone think of any other ones? Those are all good. Dry your hands, shake off the water, no more dirt. Rinse your hands, lather, scrub, clean, all done. Those are pretty good. I like them. Counting, how long to wash hands. But, yep, that's a good one. So the next uh, lyrics could be numbers, clean under your nails. Yes, that is a, that's a good idea. When you work with little kids, very good to get them all clean. Alrighty, so <clears throat> what when we make songs, I tend to repeat the songs over and over again. So, Gazine and Gita Ambeoma Nebe Minawa Zibigan. Okay, so that's the tune. So, let's see if we have any. Next is maybe do we have any? Um, let's go into the Ojibwe English Dictionary. Hopefully, I don't get shut down again. So maybe clean. Be not, it is clean. Hands, now that I think about it, are hands animate or inanimate? And I'll just show you again. So hand, 
can go here, dependent, inanimate. So now that we know that hands, a hand is inanimate, let's go back to clean. So it's not going to be he or she is clean. It's going to be it is clean. Be not. So let's write that down. So we have it. It is clean. But we could say one hand is clean, right? It is clean. How can we make that plural? Let's see. Sometimes if we scroll around. Nigana Gabawit, can you help me with this one? Oh, there was a verb for clean hands. Okay, well, let's go back. <gasps> there it is. Bininji, Bininji. I'm gonna write that out here. Mm -hmm. e. So my e. hands are clean. She has a clean hand. Scroll down. So being in Jean, my hands are clean. And plop them in there. What else? We have rinse your hands. No more dirt. Shake off the water. Um, does anyone have an idea of what they want to do next? So we could say. Um, Nimbinaninjinan. I have clean hands. Is that what that one is? You gone a couple with? My hands are clean. I like it. Um, we could also put in, we could count at this point too. So if we go back, Gizinaninjida Ambeoma. Nebemina was the begun. Bejek Nish Nis. I think your sound went off again. We're done. Um, Ooh, ben Benesi mm. Gitchadakwa says you could ask uh, Nim, oh, this is the smallest computer ever, Nimbi Ninjinanana. Oh, yeah, I like that. Are your hands clean? And you could have the kids say, hey, yeah. So, Gizina Ninjida Ambeona Omla Nebemina Wazi Begun. Nimbi in Ninjina na Bejik Nish Nisway Niwen. And this is what why it takes kind of a little bit of a process to put the songs together. I take these words and I try to fit them into this specific song and the um and try to work it out together. So I, did we want to start with the nimbi and ninji na na na? It's almost a little bit too wordy for. We could count first, then use that. Gizinaninjida ambeoma nebe mina wazi begun. Bejik nish niswe niwen. Gibi naninjinan, gibi naninjinanana eya. There we go. And then let's do it one more time. Gezi nininjita ambeoma nebe mina wa zibi gun. Bejik nish niswe niwen. Gibi nininjinanana.
a yeah Woo! so we just put verse two of that together and i was hoping that would work well when i was right when i was doing the presentation i'm like they better all help me and i didn't want to make the verse itself and then bring it in i was like i'm going to trust the process <laughs> And we're going to make this song work and it made it work. So that's awesome. I like me Gwich for helping me with that second verse. This is actually a song that I want. I've wanted to make for a long time. And I'm actually going to put it on SoundCloud and do the lyrics and all of that. So we can bring this language to, um, to different centers and daycares and homes. And if you um, are maybe a little bit confused as where we got that from, so we from Carissa from Niganagabawik. Oh, the tune is uh, Finger Family. So from Niganagabawik, she did the Nimbina Ninjinan. So my hands are clean. We turned it into a question. So we changed the N to a G to ask, are your hands clean? So gim binin ninjinan inna would be are your hands clean? It may glitch to Niganagabawik. So if you guys wanted to, you could copy and paste that song right there to Finger Family. And again, it would be great if I had sound and I could show you how, you know what, I'm gonna show you right now a little trick that I have for um, making songs. I cleaned out, I cleaned out all my uh, cookies and my cash in hopes that my computer wouldn't shut down again. But so if we go here, we go to finger family. Oh. Karaoke, you can see I've already used this song. I think I've used it quite a few times. <laughs> Season is too big for just ready. Great. Oh, it's the is sound working now. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we can do it together now. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Whatever. We're just going with the flow. So here in the settings here um this little wheel here you can do a playback speed and you can go down to 0.5 or 0.75 so a lot of english songs and nursery rhymes are a little bit faster but if we're using anishinaabe moan words that are a little bit lengthier and we're trying to fit them i always go down to 0.75 or 0.5 and it slows the song down all together so it's the same tune just a slower version of the of the song on YouTube. So that's a really great trick, especially when you're trying to get all those words um, in there, making it fit and making sure that it all flows and it helps you with creating songs. So that's one of my little tricks there. I like it, me glitch. Um, the next one is I created a song for Father's Day. So this is Day Day. And I just wanted to show you two reasons. I wanted to show you our SoundCloud. But I also wanted to see if you guys I'm gonna um, Oh, I guess I can't play the song for you. Maybe I can sing it for you. Um, I'm gonna show you anyways. Redirecting to SoundCloud. So this is our Waking Up Ojibwe site. It has a lot of all of our songs, all of our language on here. I wish you could hear it. I was going to get you guys to guess what song and maybe which um, brainstorming words I used. But I'll just show you our Waking Up Ojibwe Anishinaabe Moda site. So I have a whole bunch of classroom songs here and I put them into a playlist all about numbers, counting. This is probably where I will put the hand washing song. Um, our Genjibugwesi songs for our Genjibugwesi kits. Um, I had a um, co-worker, a colleague reach out. She wanted to do 
um, the bubble bubble pop song. My kids are a little bit older now, so I don't really know what's popular and hip with the little, little kids anymore. But I guess this bubble bubble pop song was extremely popular. She wanted to use some language. So we took that. Um, we took the English song and translated it roughly. Um, you will obviously, if you guys are language learners, even new language learners, you know there's a lot more syllables in Anishinaabe known words versus English. Um, so I wonder if the lyrics are here. Yeah. So here's the lyrics. And they, in the Bubble Bubble Pop song, they repeat lots. So we just took this and made it singular throughout just to make it all fit and to make it flow. Um, and again, I wish you could hear, but you can't. But that is our... I could play it for them, Darcy, if you want. You have them? Yeah, okay. I have the sound. Which one do you want played? Um, do the Nindede one, I guess. And then they can guess which sound it is mm. or which song it is. Ninchoena ma Nindede to the tune of The More We Get Together. <laughs> I guess you're not Nin guessing. Ninchoena ma Nindede, Nindede, Nindede. Ninchoena ma Nindede, Apaneko. Nina to my wig, nin day day, nin day day, nin day day. Nina to my wig, nin day day, up and I go. Up and ain't in Bopman, in Bopman, in Bopman. Up and ain't in Bopman, Gishwina men. So that one was a little bit more uh, VTAs, a little bit that I love my dad, I have fun with him, I laugh with him. Um, so it was a little bit, I think I just created that this past. Lost your sound, Darcy. Together, because it has a little bit more syllables in it as well. Um, and trying to fit it in, we probably took mm, two, three hours. And sometimes it does take that long, especially if you're working with um, a little bit more uh, words, a little bit more wordy, a little bit more syllables in it as well. And yeah, so that was another example of, again, brainstorming, picking a tune, finding the karaoke version on YouTube and sitting there and plopping it together. I recently made a um, Halloween song and I had a translator work with me. And she kept saying, she was like, can you, can we sing it again? Can we sing it again? And she was apologizing. She was like, I'm sorry, I'm making you sing it again. I said, no, honestly, when I create songs, um, I probably sing them to myself a hundred times. I'm, I wish I was joking, but I am not. Just trying to get that flow, seeing what works, seeing what the kids like, and I'll literally sing it to my kids and they'll be like, mm, no, try that one again. Or they'll be like, oh yeah, I like that. And when you sing it to a little kid and they like it, you know, you've got a winner there. So that's the process of me putting these songs together. Um, again, when you're putting songs together, depending on your, um, where you are in your language journey. Remember to start basic and work your way up from there. Um, but right now we're actually going to put you guys in groups, um, small breakout rooms, and you're gonna make your own song. Um, I have some, um, and we're gonna help you, of course. We have a little bit of time. Um, and hopefully you guys will be brave enough to sing us your song afterwards. Maybe you won't be there and that's okay too. Maybe you just want to type it out to us. Um, I can even attempt to sing it in my tone deaf voice as long as we get the language out there. And if you guys create, <clears throat> um, and if you guys create a awesome song, you guys can either 
to sing it on our SoundCloud, or you can give us permission to sing it on our SoundCloud. Again, I'm all about spreading as much language as possible. So we have maybe a season, uh, song about seasons. Um, winter's coming up and I don't have a winter song. Different animals, um, rabbits, like something I'm thinking of at the top of my head is like Wabus, Wabishka, um, or I guess it would be animate. I'd have to think about that one. Guashquanin, they jump lots. Um, they're the color of uh, snow, Zogi Pun, changing colors, stuff like that. Again, it's that brainstorming. Um, month, season, or, or holidays. Christmas is coming up. Maybe there's a holiday that you really like and you want a song for. Um, and activities, a good one for, especially if you're in the classroom or working with kids, it's like, what do I do with them? Lots. And that's where the hand washing song really came from. It's like, I want to teach these kids good hygiene. This was from uh, Dana Ward. She's on here right now. But she came out and she was like, I want to teach the kids proper hygiene, their parents proper hygiene while um, using as much language as possible. So that's where this song stem from and I actually really wanted to for a long time make up this song and then once Dana asked me I was like here here where I can actually sit down and do it um and miigwetch for everyone for helping with that again but again like changing diapers I know um daycare teachers probably change 30 diapers a day so that's a popular one what's something and you don't have to necessarily be talk about changing diapers but what can you sing about while changing a child's diaper um, an outside song. So let's go outside. Ijada Agujing. I can't even put a tune to it yet, but that would be a song. You go outside maybe twice a day in daycare. You go outside with your kids, getting ready for school. A song for after nap time and colors. Again, counting all of that kind of stuff. Um, even if you are um, very, very beginner. You could probably take right now, you know, if you just wanted to practice, you could count and put it to a different tune depending where you are. So I think Yigana Gabawik has the breakout rooms ready. Yeah, so start first by brainstorming, picking out a theme and brainstorm your words first. Brainstorm in English and see what words you know in Ojibwe. I use, when I did the Degwa Gin song, I used uh, leaves because I had the, um, I had the translations. I already knew them. I knew Annie Bish, Annie Bishan, Miskwa um, Minawa Ozawa, and Degwa Gin. I just needed a little help with Bangisanun, the falling down. That's the only thing I needed to use the Ojibwe English dictionary for. So yes, pick your theme and do it fast. The Dogwagen just came at the top of my head and I just rolled with it. Don't think about it too, too much. And if you have an idea of a song that you've already wanted, um, started, start with what you have, use what you have and don't be scared. So here we go. You can go ahead and break us out. Good luck. Buju. Buju. I just want to say I'm really proud of our group and our song that we created, and I hope that it actually works out. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Um, does anyone want to share first? If not, I can share first. Yeah, I'll, we'll share. Okay. Go for it. So I had uh, um, Delilah, Dahlia, Dala, Delia, Delia. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, and then Shelly. And uh, I think this is gonna work. So we have a tune to Jingle Bells, and. Um, we found a word we hope works for ring and a word that we hope works for bells. And then I 
incorporate my up and a because I use it all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, Madwe sanun go taganan, madwe sanun apane. Madwe sanun go taganan, madwe sanun apane. I'm getting confused from two computers. Good job. I love it. Love that tune. That was great. Good job, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure our conjugations worked and we're good to go. Awesome. And I always say when we are, when I'm in daycares um, and I'm with like a cooch daycare for one, there's a, a speaker in there, uh, a little bit more advanced than I am. And sometimes we make up stuff and we're like, mm, like, someone would understand us it's good enough for now or trying to put stuff together or trying to talk to each other we're like yeah it works until we know better right so using what you have sometimes even the Ojibwe uh, English dictionary isn't 100% perfect and it's using what you got using what you know I love it so did you guys um, do the brainstorming or did you pick jingle bells first no, we brainstormed and then um, a lot of the words that we liked were very hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then Shelly found some some really simpler, more like, you know, more condensed words that we could try. And yeah, we just messed around with it. Perfect. Awesome. Me quitch. Does another uh, group want to go next? We could go. I'll volunteer our group. <laughs> awesome. Me quitch. Um, so I'll sing the song, I guess, and then, uh, they, they can talk about how it came about. Washing and a washing and a gay wabba magoo and is the quang. Me quitch, that's awesome. How did you guys come about making that song? Okay. So, Dana actually brought it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we got together. Um, when you're speaking earlier, Darcy, I'm thinking, well, it's November. This is usually when, when I was at Head Start, we would start talking about hibernation. So then when my group got together, I was like, I'd never had a song about hibernation before. So then we talked about, okay, what is hibernation? Who hibernates? What does it all entail? So then we came up with, you know, cave, sleep, eating, um, the bear, and then um, we kind of collaborated on more different ideas, I guess, if anybody wants to elaborate more on that. So they kind of like pick different words and then we kind of pick different sentences. And then we started getting off track, trying to conjugate things differently for each one, talking to more than one bear and we're like, okay, simplify, bring it back. So we did that. And then it turned into two verses, um, almost three. We almost went for three, but we, we can tone it down a little bit. But uh, one of the things we liked about it too is that you could change it out with other animals and other places to sleep. Mm -hmm. Love that. That's perfect. Um, my group next, we had um, McKenna and Christine from uh, WeCheat, I think Developmental Services. And my group was having, of course, my group was having technical difficulties. So we lost McKenna and Christine halfway through. Um, we also have Brenda, had Brenda with us, but her um, sound and video isn't working. So she typed as we did this. So we, of course, my group, but we picked, um, we started with colors. McKenna, and I don't even think McKenna's on anymore. She was having issues. Oh, she's there. Um, she said color. She works with little, little kids and she wanted something very simple. Um, and we're all, you know, beginner speakers. So we picked just colors. 
Um, they also picked, I think Christine picked Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as the tune, very simple again for little kids. So this is what we came up with. Um, so uh, what does it look like? Look at it. We listed some colors that we knew repeated the question again, what does it look like? Anina Zhinnikok in Min Wan Day, which is a word we found on Ojibwe English Dictionary, which means it's a good color. Lost your sound again, Darcy. Wabin dun Wabish ka Wabus Zoge pun Wabish ka Anina Jenik simple, doesn't have to be anything too, too fancy. Yeah. Awesome. Is there, was there another group? I think there was just the three, hey? Yeah, just the three. Me, Gwedge, that was, uh, oh, my sound's cutting out during the second round. Now. <laughs> I'm cutting out now. No, we can hear you now, but you were cutting out. No worries. Can you sing your second song? Singing. Could you sing your second song again with the Wabus? Because we missed part of it. Okay. It's, it's always when I'm singing. See, the computer doesn't like my voice. I'll sing the second, the second one we made up. So the Anina Jenica Nanda Wabindan Wabishka Wabus Zoge Pun Wabishka Anina Jenica Min One Day. So we just used a specific color and putting in words that we know that is that color in there. And then repeating the question again, Anina Zhinikuk, and then Min Wande, that's a good color. So you could use it outside or inside. Um, if you're focusing on a color, I even said like Misqua, Ode, something about a heart, using maybe um, items of clothing. Uh, Miigwech, Janet. Yeah, we're almost wrapping up anyways. So I think that's it. Other than I just wanted to show you one thing that we've been working on on our website. Um, so this is our website, as most of you probably know. So this is the language kit area. So resources for families. Um, Oh, this is what it looks like. So when you come up here, um, this is where you can find all of our language kits if you're not familiar with them. Um, and something that I have been trying to do since we came, since I came here, um, that I have a, a little bit of classroom experience with, is trying to make these songs accessible as possible. So you know, if you're a teacher in a classroom that it is um it's a lot it's a lot to take on those little kids doing all the routines and then trying to put the language and culture in there as well on a daily basis is really quite hard even if you're trying to incorporate this stuff in your home life it is very hard so chris and nigana gabawick had this amazing idea for our songs so we're working on, we've done, I think, 26 songs so far. But what we're doing is putting a QR code here at the bottom. So you take your phone or your iPad and you hold it up. Um, you don't have to take a picture. You just go into your camera setting. Um, if you have a Samsung, there's a QR code scanner app. And you hold it up and it brings you right to our SoundCloud. 
so you don't have to be looking for um, trying to get the tune of it, which I always have problems with, but we created QR codes for all of our songs, as well as our uh, commands. Um, and we're trying to expand to the rest of our songs. Um, we're even going to put our QR codes um, in our books so they can take you right to the Vimeo. I think Vimeo? Yeah, the Vimeo uh, sites. So they can be read to you by a fluent speaker. So we're just trying to make everything as accessible as possible. So those are on, if you go to our songs, oh, they're all on there. We've done all of these plus some. And we're going to make a, um, a book, uh, like a song book pretty soon. And there's the QR code again. And especially this helps if you're a beginner learner or not a singer and you just want the language out there. And we're just trying to make the language as accessible as possible. Um, I think that's it. Unless Wawa take you cook or Niganagabawik have anything else to say. Um, I do want to say, I do want to apologize for all of my <laughs> issues today. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, of course that would happen, but we made it through. Um, I hope someone takes the stuff and makes a whole bunch of songs. And if you